Yep, that's right. We burned walnut. Hey, I'm Bruce and welcome back to another video. In this one, I'm gonna show you how we made this Shushugi Bond walnut countertop. I'm not in my shop for this video. I was actually in my friend's shop over at Lakeside Woodworks. So I'll leave links to their information below. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video where you can see more fun burning shots of the Shushugi Bond as well as the finished product. In their shop, they normally start with flattening, but their slab master that they use in their shop was busy doing another project. So on this one, we got started cleaning up the slab, removing the bark, cutting everything down to the general size before moving on to flattening. Let me show you how we made it. Before we did all of this to the main countertop, we wanted to be sure and run some tests. So we had a few scraps of walnut and we got those. We used a smaller torch and we burned them to different levels to see exactly what we could come up with. Then we just wiped on a little bit of sealing oil to see if that made any difference and it didn't really. So we decided to skip that step. At this point, their slab master machine was finally available, so we moved the slabs over to have them flattened on that. Then we just took them to this giant planer and made everything parallel. For the glue up, we set everything out like it was supposed to be and we marked four dominoes. We drilled all those domino holes and then three of us muscled these big slabs into place as we glued them together. I thought this was interesting. Something that we did with them being a production shop, they do things in a different hurried way than I probably do, but they did some of the rough sanding while it was in the clamps just to save on time waiting until it was done. After the glue was dry, we did all of the sanding and we cut the countertop to final length. Then we moved on to some fun details. I got to use the Shaper Origin that they have and man, that is a really cool tool. So we're using this tool to create the recesses and the actual bow ties for some inlays. We're doing it both out of walnut just so there's no contrast and it was a really cool process.
All right, it's time for the fun part. It's time to burn this walnut. It seems kind of funny that we've put so much work into this only to torch it, but that's what this client wanted, so let's burn it. After it cooled off, we sprayed four coats of conversion varnish. It's a two-part finish that is very durable. We were just burnishing between coats with some brown craft paper. Thank you so much for checking out this video. I really appreciate it. Big thanks to my Patreon supporters over there on patreon.com slash Bruce A. Ulrich. If you want to support what I'm doing in my channel, that's a great way to do it. So I'll leave links below to all of that. I'd love to know what you think. Is this something that you like? I don't know that burning the walnut is necessarily my style, but again, this was for a client and that's what they wanted. I tend to like the look of walnut just the way it is with some finish on it. But I'd love to know what you think down below. Leave me a comment. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time.